I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will probably get, get be mad at me for this, though. Because a lot of people are so excited and so hyped for this film. But uh, I'm just going to give my honest thoughts on it, though. So everyone's excited. A lot of people are excited for when we saw the first teaser for Spider-Man No Way Home. Coming out December 17th. A lot of people are excited for it. And that's and I'm good because I, I can I can understand why. Um, but my my for my thoughts though. Okay, uh, let's tell us, let's go for a bit by bit. All right. So it opens up immediately after a week. Spider-Man: uh, Far From Home concluded right when J.K. Simmons once again playing J. Jonah Jameson, which is like okay cool you know because no one could be a better J. Jonah Jameson. Than J.K. Simmons is right, and because of Mysterio's uh, doctored footage, exposes Peter Parker to everybody that he's Spider-Man, and now everyone is everyone's like first like everyone's crowd around him, and and even um like here my um uh, I'm babysitting dogs, so there's more than one dog I'm babysitting, so if you hear that, and. Now everyone's thinking he's the bad guy because he killed Mysterio. And even even when he's on a PlayStation, when he's handcuffed, him, which I'm like, he's super strong. He can just break out every time, though. But I guess I guess he chooses not to. Um, he's saying that he didn't kill Mysterio. It was the drones. And then he goes to and then he's, he's at school and everyone's taking pictures of him. I'm like, why would you want to go to school when everyone knows they're Spider-Man? They're just gonna get beyond you. The whole time, so he gets the idea to go visit Doctor Strange. He goes to his house um, once again, played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Although, why is Doctor Strange's house uh, frozen over? The inside, like the inside of his house, why is his inside of his house all frozen over? I have no idea why. That brought to mind, why is Doctor Strange's house inside of his house frozen over? And then Peter asks Doctor Strange to um, ask if you know if can you lay a way to undo like what Mysterio did, right? Make sure like everyone knows that I'm not Spider Man. Benedict Wong has appearance. That's probably a cameo appearance as Wong. Tell him, tell Doctor Strange, not don't use the spell; it's dangerous. But he chooses to be just do it anyway. And then be be being casting this spell where everyone is gonna forget he's he's Spider Man. So that means including all of his friends, including Mary Jane, his friend, aunt, whatever, everybody. And, of course, by Spider-Man, he keeps on talking. Even Dr. Strange says, stop talking. It's ruining the spell, be, but Peter won't shut up. And then, and this is what sets off the whole multiverse. This is what sets up uh, Dr. Strange's sequel in the Multiverse of Madness. This is what sets that up because of this. Which also the thing is, oh yeah, I also put on Doctor Strange too. Not only Peter Parker because he because he wouldn't shut up though, but Doctor Strange messed it up because of it though. So he's at fault as well now. So now Doctor Strange, now both both of them are are, are screw ups now. Great, but um, but it's more on Peter because he wouldn't because he wouldn't stop talking. But now this everything everything's been um everything's been messed up now. The whole multiverse is now into shambles now, and. And then we see we get we get little bits like they're on a train like Doctor Strange makes multiple trains circular like this and then we see bits of lightning which that's probably that's probably um, putting on Electro because uh, Jamie Fox is gonna come back since the Amazing Spider-Man two but he's not gonna be blue thank God because to me Amazing Spider-Man two that Electro I never cared for it I never I never liked that design of Electro never did. I hated that design because it looked like just a, a wannabe Doctor Manhattan, but with electricity. It didn't. It didn't. He like when he sometimes when he popped up, it, it was like electricity when he every when he appeared. Doctor Manhattan from Watchmen. Yeah, but I hated that design of Electro from Maze Spider-Man Two. So yeah, but Jamie Fox is coming back, and at least they say he's not going to be blue this time. Though thank God. But you see a little bit of lightning. Uh, uh, one scene, then another one. So that's supposed to be that setting up for Electro. Um, Doctor Strange saying, "Oh, how the multiverse is now broken," 
and and then everyone everyone just flipped out. Everyone just flipped out when this hit. We see a pumpkin bomb, and we hear Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin laugh. Yeah, so now this is this is confirmed that Willem Dafoe is gonna come back as the Green Goblin because we saw the pumpkin bomb. We hear him laugh, and then. And that would that that pretty much send people over the, over the top of that, because <laughs> because how everyone are so fascinated with Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin from Spider Man, Sam Raimi's Spider Man. So when that when that scene happened, everyone just flipped out on that. Which, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, back then when I first saw it, yeah, of course Willem Dafoe was good though, but nowadays he's just seen he's just so very so very ham he's so. He's hamming it up, chewing the scenery as Green Goblin. But I, mean, I don't blame him. It looks like he was having fun, to be fair, right? It looked like he was having fun playing the Green Goblin role. Just be, to me, be fair. But I know he's, he's, he's chewing it up. He's hamming it up as the Green Goblin. So when that when so the pumpkin bomb happened, the laugh, I'm sure people were so... They lost their shit on that. And then... Dr. Stane said, be careful what you wish for, Parker. And then... Dr. Octopus, Dr. Octopus comes in and it's once again played by Alfred Molina saying, hello, Peter. Yeah, so Alfred Molina, because, yeah, and they made him look exactly how it, him how young he was from back then because, you know, it's been, what, 17 years now since he played it. Of course, they did they digitally, you know, the effects, you know, to digitally de-age him to make him how he was from Spider-Man 2. I mean, the effects of him looking how he was from before, yeah, it looks pretty good, yes. But um, I'm, I'm very sure um, when he says hello, Peter, because the question is, how does he know this Peter Parker, this Tom Holland, is Peter Parker? And I'm sure they're probably because we know how trailers when they edit things is this is they to is to mislead us, you know, to make us think, but it's ended up misleading us. I'm pretty sure because because we know a lot of people were wrong about that, but they're probably they're gonna put in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider Man's in here because of the multiverse, right? Because you bring in Sam Raimi characters, Sam Raimi Spider Man characters in here, as well as Jamie Foxx, because that's from Amazing, Jamie Fox from Amazing Spider Man. <clears throat> um, I'm sure that when he says hello, P, I'm sure he's probably referring to the Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Because they always try to do that to mislead us, right? They always do. They're always doing a lot in trailers. Oh, speaking of trailers, I forgot to mention. I hate when they freaking do that. When they like five seconds, five seconds, five or six seconds in, they show bits of clips and then the title and then the trailer plays. I just hate when they do that. You know, I, whoever's doing, whoever makes these trailers, they need to stop doing that. Okay. I know it's a lazy, it's a lazy, it's just a lazy way to make us go hit this, go right past it. I know it's five, six, seven, six seconds in though, but for that, I just hate when they do that. You know, it just, they just need to stop doing that. It's annoying. I don't know why they started doing that. But, um... Yeah. I know, I, I, I get it. Yeah, when I, first, when I first saw it, yeah, I was... I, would, I, I, I smirked a bit because, yes, they're trying to pull us in with the nostalgia. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to pull us in because by throwing in Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, and even Jamie Foxx's Electro coming back... And they were trying to pull us even further when they when they when they attempt to put in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in. Yeah, they're trying to pull us in with more nostalgia. I know, even though yeah, this is multiverse stuff. I know with different universes. I get it though. But I'm saying, it's, it, fans are hyping up. Fans are being hyped up because of bringing back past characters from the Sam Raimi, and also from the Mark Webb movies. Mark Webb, he directed the two Amazing Spider-Man films. Also, I'm trying to say. But uh. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm saying, but I'm saying, I, I, I did get a smirk myself. I did get a smirk myself. Alpha Molina coming back. I know I did. I did because I guess to me, Alpha Molina, he was the best villain in that. To me, Alpha Molina, he was the best villain in the Sam Raimi trilogy. I mean, I like Tom, Thomas Hayden Church as Sandman. And speaking of Sandman, I think they're supposed to put him in there as well because when we saw the lightning strike, there was like some sand flowing around. I think they're trying to throw us at that. Thomas Hayden Church as Samuel will be in it. So they're trying to throw in more nostalgia in there as well. I mean, yeah, I'll say it. But I liked him in Spider-Man 3. To me, he was the best part in that movie. Because I hate Topher Grace's Venom. Well, I don't care for the actor anyway. But did not like it. did not like that Venom. I know it was forced in there, though. But just stuck with Sandman. <clears throat> 
yes, I know. When Willem Dafoe, like I said, he's hamming and chewing this, hamming it up and chewing the scenery as, as Green Goblin. With especially people lost him when they thought, oh, he's back. You know, when the pumpkin bomb, the laugh. I know my brother. He lost his when he saw that. I know. <laughs> but um, yeah. But to me, Alfred Molina's Doctor Octopus um, was the best villain. To me, in my in my opinion, was the best villain in that Sam Raimi trilogy. Because being a by the because by the end he became a good guy, saying, "I will not die a monster," and he and he redeemed himself. He died a good guy. Although now, now of course this is this, this, this is supposed to be the same. This is supposed to be the same Doctor Octopus was from that from that movie from Spider Man Two. So now by now he sounds the way he says he's like, "Is he now a be a bad guy again?" Now how does that, how how does that work? Oh, I know about variant different variants, right? Different variants, because you know, because from the Loki, before what we learned from the Loki TV series, you know, there's different various different versions of some of the pe of the people, right, of any, of everybody, right. Is that led to believe this this it's the same Alpha Molina, but a different variant of Doctor Octopus that we're seeing, or is this the same Do Alpha Molina from Spider Man Two? I know it's Alpha Molina from Spider Man Two. That's, that's what they're saying. He's coming back from the Spider Man Two. So, what did he just um? Just before he died, before he became a good guy, did something happen between when he was a bad guy? Just before he died, a good guy? Is that something like something happened between those split second moments? I don't know. And his coat, is not me? His coat looked a little bit different. Wasn't his coat a little more dark brown from Spider-Man Two? And here, when he said hello, but I said when we saw him saying hello, Peter, his coat looked more green. Because I know Doctor Octopus, his outfit was green. I know that though, but it just looked like. His color was... I don't know why. His, his, his coat was a bit more different color. And he's supposed to be the same... The same one from Spider-Man 2. So, yeah. So, um... This, 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 I don't want to get too much in de more details. But, I mean... This is more my, my blatant thoughts on Spider-Man on Spider No Way Home. The, the teaser. Because if they're going to... Because... If they're gonna, and plus, this, film, this, this trailer is now the most watched trailer ever. Because this film... This trailer... Teaser set the, the set the record for the most watched trailer, being like 355 million views in 24 hours, it beating out Avengers Endgame's 289 views million views. Because was that people were so hyped up for this? Because look at the based on the nostalgia, basically because of Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, Alfred Molina's Doctor Octopus, and probably for Jamie Foxx's Electro now, and hope and. Probably maybe hinting at putting in sand in there because we saw like when lightning was striking, we saw sand in there. So, so, I mean, yeah, that's gonna be that's that's gonna be a whole bit of nostalgia. That's the thing. It's another another thing to throw in nostalgia to pull us in because the nostalgia. Remember this nostalgia, nostalgia. But yeah, I mean, wh why um. The whole thing, and the whole thing about everyone knowing about Peter Parker, I know because of Mysterio what he did, though, right? But I know they want. I know there was there's comments with how keeping his identity a secret and all that stuff because that's what Spider-Man is. No one knows supposed to know who he is except for well, a very few. But no, no one basically knows who Spider-Man is in comics, right? But um. Oh, if you're wondering, uh, my mom was yelling because of, she's because of one of the dogs are basically he won't sit down. So, yeah, if you're hearing that though, he's a little jumping bean. That's what he is. Um, but everyone's supposed to not know who he is. Of course, until when in the late of the comics when he married Mary Jane, but that was for a while. For a while, for a while. I haven't fully read it, all the comics of Spider Man. I've read some though, but. I, I know that he would very Jay know he was he was Spider Man like when before and then after they they got married though. Oh, which brings up another issue another issue I had with the film. I brought this up to my brother. I mean, when everyone knows who Spider Man is, right? Why doesn't the Avengers back him up? Like wh whatever the remaining Avengers back him up, like now that um um Anthony Mackie um Falcon. Well, he's now he's now the new Captain America now, or. Bucky the Winter Soldier. I know Doctor Strange. I know Doctor, uh, couldn't Doctor Strange help back him up, or even Happy Hogan, who's, who's come back in it. We saw him a little bit. We saw a, seeing him in a car where the SWAT team approaches him. John Favreau. 
Can anyone else else's back him up saying that he didn't do this? I'm sure they'll believe him because he's an innocent kid. We know he he would not murder somebody, right? Would any other Avengers, whoever else, believe in believe in this kid? Just back up saying, "Hey, everybody, this guy didn't. This guy's not a this kid's not a murderer." I don't know. That 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 that's, that's also raises that's just, that's just raises questions, you know. When anyone who's been with him since it helped save the universe, even Doctor even Doctor Strange when he went in his frozen house, now it's like we helped save half has saved half the universe, you know. When couldn't Doctor Strange, you know, somehow tell Bright while he while he's uh, living in a cigarette, I guess, but but anyone else who knows about who he's Spider Man, but just believe in him and say he's not a murderer. Yeah, so that's another issue. That's another, that's another issue I have with that. I mean, is there anything because no one else can, no one else, any other uh, Avenger, just to b help back him up, you know? So, yeah, that's just. Uh, I mean, Tom Holland, it, it looks like he'll, he'll do a good job. Same with Benedict Cumberbatch, acting wise, they both will do a good job acting wise. But um, just the whole the whole setup. I know the whole setup of the whole multiverse uh, being shattered and all that. Um, because first of all, both both of them they screwed up, right? That's how the whole first Tom Holland couldn't shut because while well, he was doing the spell, even Doctor Strange was a focus for doing the spell in the first place. But uh, that's what that's what that sets up a sequel to Doctor uh, to in the Multiverse of Madness and tying in with WandaVision as well. Because yeah, that. To me, that, that's that's the that's, to me that's the worst. Uh, the new TV shows that happen for the Marvel Universe TV shows that's the worst one. I did not care for Wanda WandaVision. Of all the ones I've seen so far, Captain America and Winter Soldier, well, Falcon and Winter Soldier, sorry. Well, he's now the new Captain America now. Anthony Mackie is. Out of all the ones I've seen, I could technically say Loki's the best one because because I, I like Tom Hiddleston. Looks like he was having fun and hey, cool to see Owen Wilson in the MCU. Although he didn't say, "Oh wow," but I could technically say I could say Loki is the new, is is a better is the better best of the TV shows. I can say WandaVision's the worst. I did not like WandaVision because I already knew the whole thing from the start. You know, she was cr uh, the whole thing was um, Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet Witch's fault. She's crazy because she was grieving, losing vision. You know, she grieved. She created this whole thing in her mind. Her I already knew the whole time. I already knew the whole entire time. Hold this whole town hostage, you know, basically, for to live this little fantasy world she lived in to grieve with herself. But yeah, that's that. But 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 Elizabeth Olsen, she's she's gonna be in the sequel, Doctor Strange Two: The Multiverse of Madness. So yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's my thoughts on the teaser for Spider-Man: No Way Home. I'm not. I know a lot of people went. Probably when the second trailer comes up, people are gonna lose their shit even more if they reveal that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are gonna be in it, all the Spider Man's together. To me, another person, I'm another person who's gonna be so like, oh yeah, yes, just run away. I'm so excited for it. I can be excited for it. Like, I am excited for the second season for Yashihime, Princess Half Demon, the second act. I am excited in the inside, but I'm gonna go straight. Yes, yes, yes. No, I could be like, I am excited for it. You know, I am. I really am. Like that. That's how the tone I set myself. But I'm not gonna lose. I don't. I don't. I'm not a guy who loses their shit. You know. Well, people have the right to be excited how the way they want to. That's just me though. But it's like, okay, I am looking forward to seeing it. But yeah, all those issues I said, nostalgia, whatever. But hey, if people are looking forward to seeing it, that's cool. You know. But just have to wait. I'm just gonna have to wait and see. This is like, yeah. But uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm sure people are gonna be mad at me for. Probably get mad at me because uh, if I if I don't like it, I'm just. I'm a hater, I guess. Hey, my brother gives me enough shit as it is, you know. Oh, you're you're hating it, you know. You're biased and all that. I get enough of that from my brother, so I'm sure I'm gonna be here. I'm sure gonna hear him about it. So, but anyway, but this is my this is my honest thoughts in my in my opinion. My thoughts on the teaser for Spider-Man: No Way Home. If you're if you're looking forward to it, excited for it, good on you. Nothing. I said so far. I hold nothing against anybody who who shared their own feelings for it. But anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Later.